In today's video, we will discuss about the solution for learner level questions from exercise 1 of trigonometric functions. For that, you have to know the trigonometric ratios, reciprocal identities and fundamental trigonometric identities. Let us start with the questions. This is the first one. To solve this, from the left hand side, if you see here, 1 plus tan square theta can be written as secant square theta. And 1 plus cot square x can be written as cosecant square x. Now we'll substitute those values. Then from the left hand side, we can write it as tan cube x upon secant square x plus cot cube x upon cosecant square x. The tan is nothing but sine upon cos. Substitute that. Then it makes sine cube x upon cos cube x into secant square x plus cot is nothing but cos upon sine. So this is cos cube x upon sine cube x into cosecant square x. Now in the denominator here cos cube x, cos cube x is nothing but cos x into cos square x. Now cos into secant is 1 because they are reciprocal. In the same way here sine cube is like sine x into sine square x and sine square x into cos secant square x is again 1. So these two will make 1 and here again these two will make 1. This will become now sine cube x upon cos x plus cos cube x upon sin x. Now take the LCM, it would be cos x sin x. So we'll have cos x sin x in the denominator and in numerator sin power 4x plus cos power 4x. The sin power 4x can be written like sin square x whole square plus cos square x whole square. Upon we have sin x cos x here. So the numerator is now like a square plus b square, which can be written as a plus b whole square minus 2ab, where a is sin square x and b is cos square x. Now we substitute here, this becomes a plus b whole square minus 2a b upon the denominator as it is. We know the identity that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So in this place if we keep 1 it becomes 1 square which is nothing but 1. So 1 minus 2 sine square x cos square x upon sine x cos x. This is same as the RHS we have in the question. So hence this is proved. Coming to the next question here, in this we'll start with the left hand side here cot and tan, cot is nothing but cos upon sine and tan is sine upon cos. So we'll try to substitute this and when we take the LCM here it is 1 plus cot x, 1 plus cos x upon sine x, this is nothing but sine x plus cos x upon sine x. Now in denominator we have a fraction here so we can take the reciprocal and multiply this particular term. In the same way when we simplify this part it becomes cos x plus sin x upon cos x. Again in denominator we have a fraction so take reciprocal. From that the LHS can be written as 1 minus the first term as it is. In the second term here we're going to substitute this in the denominator and take the reciprocal that makes like sine square x in denominator sine x plus cos x and now it becomes sine x here. We are taking the reciprocal. Then minus in the next term we have cos square x upon sine x plus cos x and this denominator cos x goes to the numerator that makes cos x here. Now this is like 1 minus sine cube x upon sine x 
plus cos x minus this cos square into cos x that is cos cube x upon sin x plus cos x. Let us take the LCM. Come sin x plus cos x minus sin cube x minus cos cube x upon sin x plus cos x. If we take minus out of these two terms, if you take minus out here, it becomes plus. And this thing is like a cube plus b cube, which can be written as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square, where a is sin x and b is cos x. Now, if we apply this particular identity, it is sin x plus cos x minus of a plus b that is sin x plus cos x into a square means sin square x minus a b that is sin x cos x plus b square that is cos square x upon we have sin x plus cos x. Now, in this, if we see here, sine square x plus cos square x is 1. So, in place of these two, we can write 1. Then, this particular term will become like sine x plus cos x into 1 minus this thing, sine x cos x. Now, this is the first term we have and then the second term. This is nothing but into 1. So, we'll take sin x plus cos x and sin x plus cos x in both the terms we have. So, we'll take it out as common. That leaves sin x plus cos x. From the first term, we'll have 1 minus and this particular term from the second one. So, that is 1 minus sin x cos x upon sin x plus cos x. Now, if you see this denominator and this term, we can cancel out. Here, if we take minus inside, it will become 1 minus 1. Minus into minus is plus, so plus sin x cos x. So, plus 1 minus 1 cancel out, we'll have sin x cos x, which is the required RHS. Coming to the next question here, from the left hand side, it is like a plus b whole square, we will expand this and a minus b whole square, we will try to expand both the things, then it will become a square that is 1, b square means tan square alpha tan square beta plus 2ab that is 2 tan alpha tan beta. Now from this, it is a minus b whole square that is a square tan square Alpha b square means tan square beta minus 2ab that is minus 2 tan alpha tan beta. Here we have minus term here and plus term here. So these two will get cancelled out. And the remaining is 1 plus tan square. We'll write them together 1 plus tan square alpha. And from these two terms, we can take tan square beta as common. So, we'll write tan square beta out. So, in this term, we will have this tan square alpha. This is nothing but tan square beta into 1. So, we can write plus 1. Now, again, consider till here. This is like one term and this is a second term. In both the things, we have 1 plus tan square alpha. So, we'll take 1 plus tan square alpha out. That leaves in this particular term, we'll have 1. And from here, it's tan square beta. From the identity 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Here we can write secant square alpha and here we can write secant square beta which is the required RHS. Now coming to the next question. In this question here first we will take cot x as cos x will substitute the values of the ratios tan x as sin x upon cos x. This is 1 plus. So now we can simplify this in the similar way for the denominator also in place of secant cube 
we'll write 1 upon cos and for cosecant 1 upon sin and we'll try to simplify this. First coming to this particular term, the first term 1 plus cot x up plus tan x, it will be like this. So if we simplify this on taking the LCM, we will get sin x cos x plus here we have sin, so this is like cross, so cos square x plus sin square x upon sin x cos x. So to write the left hand side, in place of this first term, we can write this, that is sin x cos x plus cos square x plus sin square x upon sin x cos x. Now this as it is, we'll write it down here, sin x minus cos x. And in the denominator, we will try to substitute that. That becomes 1 upon cos cube x minus 1 upon sin cube x. Now sin square x plus cos square x is 1. So in that place, we'll write 1. And here we can take the LCM. For this term, the LCM, if we take it, becomes sin cube x minus cos cube x upon sin cube x into cos cube x. In the place of this, we can write this. And this is like a cube minus b cube, which can be written as a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. So here sine square x cos square x in place of these two we can write 1. So that what we can write in the denominator. Here from the numerator we have 1 plus sine x cos x upon sine x cos x into this term that is sin x minus cos x. Now in the denominator what we have, this we have simplified here, right? So in place of a denominator we can write sin x minus cos x into 1 plus sin x cos x upon this sin cube x into cos cube x. In denominator, we have a fraction, so we'll take the reciprocal and multiply with the numerator. Finally, we'll get 1 plus sin x cos x into sin x minus cos x upon sin x cos x. So that's the numerator we have here. Now taking the reciprocal of denominator into sin cube x into cos cube x upon sin x minus cos x into 1 plus sin x cos x. If we take here 1 plus sin x cos x here and 1 plus sin x cos x here will get cancelled. Sin x minus cos x, sin x minus cos x is cancelled. Here we have cube, so we know that it is like sin x into sin square x and cos x into cos square x. So this sin x and sin x, cos x and cos x will get cancelled out. The remaining is sin square x into cos square x. That's the required RHS. Coming to the next question here. In the denominator again, 1 minus cos square x from sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. We know that 1 minus cos square x is equal to sin square x. So in place of these two terms, we will write sin square x and again sin square x sin square x if we were add them together it gives 2 sin square x so these two terms also won't be there we have 2 sin square x minus sin x in the denominator from the lhs side in numerator if we see here cos x is there in both the terms so we'll take the cos x out so that makes cos x off from the first term 2 sin x is remaining 2 sin x and the fun second term we have 1. Okay. In denominator we have what's remaining here 2 sin square x 
minus this term that is minus sin x. Now here we can take sin out. So cos x of 2 sin x minus 1 upon if we take sin out this becomes 2 sin x minus 1. So these two terms will get cancelled out cos x upon sin x is nothing but cot x. And the next sum here, here in place of tan x, we can substitute sine upon cos and simplify this. Now let us try to do that. And again, this is sine upon cos can be written as sine x into 1 upon cos is secant x. We'll do this substitution in place of tan x. So the left hand side will become like cos x into in place of tan x, sine into secant plus 2 and 2 into in place of tan x again sine into secant plus 1. Here we have secant in the right hand side so we are using sine into secant in place of tan. Now just multiply these terms first we will multiply these two cos into sine into secant cos into sine into secant plus 2 into cos. So these terms cos into secant these two in place of these two we can write one because those two are reciprocal to each other. So here we'll have one into sin x is sin x plus two cos x in this side we'll have that. So this into the second thing we have to do that is two sin x secant x plus one. Now again if we multiply here sin x into these two that is 2 sin square x into secant x sin x into 1 is sin x and then we have 2 cos x into this term that makes 4 cos x sin x into secant x plus 2 cos x. Now here cos x into secant x they are reciprocal so in that place we can write 1. So 4 into sin x into 1 is 4 sin x here and sin x plus 4 sin x is 5 sin x. So in the entire equation in place of this we will write 5 sin x and the remaining two terms we will have as this. Now if we check here sin square x in place of sin square x we can write 1 minus cos square x. So this becomes 2 into 1 minus cos square x into secant x this will keep as this for now so again if we multiply 2 into 1 into secant x is 2 secant x now 2 into minus cos square x into secant x these two terms we already have here here again cos into secant is 1 so this is like cos x into cos x. So in place of 1 cos x and secant x it is 1. So this becomes 2 into cos x into 1. So 2 secant x. 2 secant x. Here in that next term we have 2 cos x plus the remaining 5 sin x plus 2 cos x. These 2 cos x minus 2 cos x they will get cancelled out. The remaining would be 2 secant x plus 5 sin x. That's the required RHS. For this sum, observe the denominator here and the numerator of the required thing. They are like rationalizing factors for each other. We'll try to rationalize this. A is equal to 2 sin x upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x will rationalize with this term so both numerator and numerator will multiply with that by 1 minus cos x plus sin x now check the denominator we can rearrange these terms this can be written like 1 plus sin x we're just rearranging the terms plus cos x here and this can be written as 1 plus sin x minus cos x. They are like a, this entire thing is a and b, a plus b into a minus b. 
which can be written as a square minus b square. First, we will write the numerator as it is here. 1 minus cos x plus sin x. In the denominator, we'll write a square minus b square. That is 1 plus sin x whole square minus cos square x. Try to expand this. On expanding this, we'll get 1 plus sin square x plus 2 sin x. It is in the form of a plus b whole square. So we are expanding. Then this term as it is, that is minus cos square x. So 1 minus cos square x can be written as sin square x. So in place of these two, if we write sin square x, then again here we have sin square x and sin square x. If we add them, it will become 2 sin square x. So these two also won't be there. So 2 sin square x plus 2 sin x in the denominator. Numerator we'll write as it is, that is 2 sin x into 1 minus cos x plus sin x. Now again, in the two terms from the denominator, if we observe here, we can take 2 sin x out. So take 2 sin x out. That leaves here sin x and for this term 1. So cancel out these two. The remaining is the required right hand side. That is 1 minus cos x plus sin x upon 1 plus sin x. This is the right hand side. Coming to the next problem here. We have sin x, we need to find tan x, secant x and cosecant x. From sin x, first we will calculate cos x using sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. From that, we can write cos x is equal to root of 1 minus sin square x. Now in place of sin x, substitute the value we have, that is 1 minus a square minus b square upon a square plus b square plus square. Now so take the LCM here. This becomes in the numerator a square plus b square whole square minus a square minus b square whole square. And the denominator we will have root a square plus b square whole square. From the identity a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. We can write the numerator as 4a square b square in the numerator. And in the denominator, the square root and square will get cancelled. We have a square plus b square. The numerator can be written as 2ab whole square under root. The root and square will get cancelled out, giving 2ab upon a square plus b square. This is the cos value we have here. The tan can be written as sine upon cos. So on writing sine upon cos, we have to divide this term with this. You get a square minus b square upon a square plus b square divided by 2ab upon a square plus b square. These two will get cancelled out. We'll have a square minus b square upon 2ab. As the secant x is nothing but the reciprocal of cos x. So this can be written as a square plus b square upon 2ab. Cosecant x is nothing but the reciprocal of sin x. And so this can be written as a square plus b square upon a square minus b square. The next question here, we know the tan x and we need to find the value of this. First, we will try to simplify this further. So root a plus b upon a minus b plus root a minus b upon a plus b. Take the LCM here. Or first, you can write it separately. The root for both numerator and denominator, if we write separately, it will look like this. And then you can take the LCM. We have to do the butterfly method here. So this becomes a plus b into a plus b. That we can be written as plus. Again, root a minus b into a minus b can be written as root a minus b whole square. In the denominator, we have root a minus b into root a plus b. Now this root and square will get cancelled out. Similarly, the root and square will get cancelled out. In numerator, we have a plus b plus a minus b. Denominator, it is like 
we can do root of a minus b into a plus b. So a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. We'll write it down here. Root a square minus b square. Now from numerator plus b and minus b cancel out. We have 2a in the numerator. Tan x is b by a. So we'll take a square out. Then this becomes a square into 1 minus b square upon a square. 2a by, now take a square out of the root, it becomes a root 1 minus b square upon a square. a and a will get cancelled out, we'll have 2 by 1 minus b square upon a square is nothing but tan square because we have tan equal to b by a. So this is tan square. And tan square can be written as sine upon cos, so we'll write that root 2 divided by root 1 minus sine square upon cos square. Take the LCM here and then cos square out of the root. This makes 2 upon root cos square x minus sine square x. Enter thing under root upon root cos square x. So in the denominator we have a fraction here. So we'll take the reciprocal and multiply with the numerator. 2 in numerator into reciprocal of this. So this root and square will get cancelled out. We'll have cos x upon root cos square x minus sine square x. So this is the answer for the given thing. Coming to the next question here. Again, we have the tan value and we need to show this is equal to this. We'll take this left hand side and now take cos out of both numerator and denominator. That makes cos x of a sine x upon cos x minus b. In the denominator again take cos x out. That means cos x of a sin x upon cos x plus b. Cancel these two things cos x and cos x. Now here in place of this sin x upon cos x we can write tan. So it is like a tan x minus b upon a tan x plus b. In place of tan x we can substitute a by b. So this becomes a into a by b minus b upon a into a by b plus b. Take LCM in both numerator and denominator that makes a square minus b square upon b numerator in denominator a square plus b square upon b. This b and b will get cancelled out. We have a square minus b square upon a square plus b square. That's the required RHS here. To solve this, in place of secant square x, we can write 1 upon cos square x. Similarly, here in place of cosecant square x, we can write 1 upon sin square x. And if we try to simplify this, this is 1 upon cos square x minus cos square x. So on taking LCM, we'll get 1 minus cos power 4x upon cos square x. In the same way, here, we'll get is minus sine square x. So we'll get 1 minus sine power 4x upon sine square x on this side. Now we'll try to simplify the left hand side here. We'll write 1. This is in the denominator. It's a fraction in denominator. So we'll write like numerator into reciprocal of denominator. That is 1 into reciprocal of this denominator is cos square x upon 1 minus cos power 4x plus in a similar way for this term also in numerator we have 1 denominator is a fraction so 1 into reciprocal of the denominator that is sine square x upon 1 minus sine power 4x and for this entire thing we have this term that is sine square x into cos square x here. Now this denominator, we can write this as cos square x whole square. 
and 1 is 1 square that is like a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into a minus b. We'll do that in the numerator 1 into cos square is cos square x and for the denominator 1 minus cos square x into 1 plus cos square x plus for this second term also we are going to do the same that is 1 into sin square is sin square in the numerator upon for the denominator again a square minus b square that is 1 minus sin square x into 1 plus sin square x and for this entire thing we have this sin square x into cos square x here. Now if we observe here this 1 minus cos square x can be written as sin square x and 1 minus sin square x can be written as cos square x. After adding that we will just try to do the butterfly method here. So this will become cos square x into this entire thing and then sin square x into this entire thing. So cos square x into again here we have cos square x into 1 plus sin square. This is the first term we have then plus here. So we will write plus into sin square x into sin square x 1 plus cos square x whole divided by here this sin square x into 1 plus cos square x into cos square x 1 plus sin square x. For this entire term or say this we have this sin square x cos square x. So we will write that sin square x cos square x. Now if we take this we can cancel this sin square and sin square. This cos square and cos square here. Cos square into cos square is cos power 4 x into 1 plus sin square x. So first term again plus sin square into sin square is sin power 4 into 1 plus cos square x upon. Now these two things we have that is 1 plus cos square x into 1 plus sin square x. Now multiply these terms and this into this. That will give us here cos power 4x plus cos power 4x into sin square x plus sin power 4x plus sin power 4x into cos square x upon here also multiply these two things that will give 1 plus cos square x plus sin square x plus cos square x sin square x. Here if we observe here cos square x plus sin square x can be written as 1. So in place of these two we will have 1 and again 1 plus 1 is 2. So in this entire place we will have 2 plus cos square x plus sin square x in the denominator. So here we have cos power 4x which can be written as cos square x whole square and this sin power 4x can be written as sin square x whole square. That is like a square plus b square. a square plus b square is nothing but a plus b whole square minus 2ab. So we will write it as cos square x plus sin square x whole square minus 2ab means minus 2 cos square x sin square x. And then we have two more terms here. One is like cos power 4x sin square and sin power 4x cos square. From these two we can take sin square x cos square common. So sin square x cos square x out. So here we will have cos square x remaining. And from here we will have sin square x remaining. So this is the next thing and the denominator is 2 plus we have 2 plus sin square x cos square x. Now we know that sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Because of that in this place cos square x plus sin square will write 1 square. And here again cos square x plus sin square is 1. This is equal to 1 minus 
2 cos square x sin square x less this term that is sin square x cos square x 2 plus sin square x cos square x. So this term and this term minus 2 plus 1. So it is minus 1. 1 minus sin square x cos square x upon 2 plus sin square x cos square x. This is the required right hand side we have here. Okay. You can match these two things. So this is same as the RHS. So hence proved. In this video, we have seen how to solve different problems from exercise one of trigonometric functions.